happen. I'm so excited. I cannot wait to see you. I'm feeling like I'm making the best decision I ever made in my life, and I can't wait to say I do. I am feeling excited and ready to see Josh and to celebrate our marriage with all of our friends and family. I think that Josh might cry when he sees me, but I'm not absolutely positive. But I think if he does, I did my job. <laughs> Honestly, I think my reaction is going to be trying to hold back my tears because she's going to be so beautiful. So I'm going to try to be strong and stoic. But when I see her beauty, we'll see. Dear Catherine, I am excited and ecstatic to embark on this great journey with my best friend, lover, and soulmate. This is the day we will make our vows unto God, committing to each other forever. When we first met, I felt like the luckiest man alive. Right before we say I do, I now know that I am the luckiest man. Dear Joshua, today is finally our day the day we become one and begin our forever together. From the moment I balance that pineapple on my head to where we are now, you have pursued my heart so well. It is clear to me that God brought us together for a reason and I couldn't be happier. I can't wait to walk down the aisle and say I do too forever with you. Love is patient. Love is kind. Love is not envious or boastful or arrogant or rude. It does not insist on its own way. It is not irritable or resentful. It does not rejoice in wrongdoing, but rejoices in the truth. This passage speaks about the love that we're to have toward every person, the sort of love that reflects God's own love. And so it's a passage especially suited to speak to the special love that a man and a wife share in marriage. And as you strive with God's help to be faithful in love to one another, through all the twists and turns in life, you can find the sweetness of an enduring, unshakable love. Now, Joshua, please repeat after me. I, Joshua. I, Joshua. Take you, Catherine, to be my wedded wife. I, Catherine, take you, Joshua, to be my wedded husband. To have and to hold from this day forward, for better or for worse, for richer and for poorer, in sickness and in health, to love and hold dear, till death do us part. According to God's holy word, this is my promise to you. This is my promise to you. In view of the promises made today in the presence of our Heavenly Father and your family and friends, I now declare the holy and wedded union of this man and this woman. What therefore God has joined together let no one separate. You, Joshua, may now kiss your bride. Today is a good, good day.
For most guys, there is a moment in their relationship when it crosses from being a girlfriend to the one. The day I knew that Catherine was the one for Josh was the day that Catherine successfully balanced a pineapple on her head and walked across my apartment floor without dropping. So here I was, sitting on my couch, and we were having a contest of who could balance things on their head the longest. You know, the usual things that adults do on the weekends for fun. And finally, it was Catherine's turn. It seemed as if all time stopped. I looked at Catherine, and she was cross-eyed, staring at her nose. I looked at Josh, and his gaze was intently fixed on Catherine as she was still cross-eyed, staring at her nose and balancing the pineapple. And in that moment, I knew Josh was smitten. She was the one. I realized that this talented and graceful lady before me would become Josh's wife and best friend, and that I too was gaining something. I finally would have a sister. Catherine, we truly have been an answer to prayer. You love Josh by honoring him, by praying for him, by staying faithful to him through thick and thin. I am honored to call you my sister, and I am so thankful that you did not drop that pineapple. <laughs> Catherine, on behalf of my mother and my father and myself, we joyfully welcome you into our family. I present to you Mr. and Mrs. Miller.